Good morning and welcome to this Flash Live at Greater West Bloomfield's only local morning show, giving you exclusive access into people, businesses, and events in our community. We're bringing you this show live daily, weekdays at 9.30 a.m. with your host, me, Maddie Mustian. Before we dive into today's show, every week we highlight someone, an educator, student, business, or organization from our Greater West Bloomfield community going above and beyond. If you would like to submit an entry for someone, you can scan the QR code on the screen and fill out the Google form with the person's name, their contact information, and reasons why you think they should be recognized for our person of the week. Now let's go check out what's going on in our Greater West Bloomfield community. The first event we want to look at is the Greater West Bloomfield Historical Society special open house that's happening this Sunday, March 13th from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Orchard Lake Museum. Here you can see exhibits and videos about the F4 tornado that damaged dozens of West Bloomfield homes and businesses on March 20th, 1976. During this open house, you can learn about this important historical event in our community history and enjoy the newly reopened Orchard Lake Museum with new exhibits. This event is free and you can contact the Historical Society or visit their website at gwbhs.org for more information. The next ongoing event we want to look at is the Connect Center events. The Connect Center at Orchard Mall in West Bloomfield has a ton of great events and activities for our seniors in our community. Some of those events coming up are their counterfeit detection talk with Jennifer Day, who is a counterfeit technician with the U.S. Secret Service Detroit Field Office. At this event, you will learn about counterfeit detection. After the program, you're invited to prepay for a box lunch at Connect from noon until 1 p.m. Pre-registration is required, so you can do that on their website. On March 10th, they will also have their basic life support for healthcare workers. This is a blended learning course with both an online learning portion and a private hands-on session with an American Heart Association instructor. After registration, a link to the online portion will be sent to the participant. The online self-directed component includes simulations, animations, and interactive activities. This must be completed before the skill session that you plan to attend. Our next event that we want to look at is a Sylvan Lake Game Night event. This event is perfect if you're looking for something fun to do with friends. Whether you go alone or with friends, the Sylvan Lake Game Nights are a great way to socialize safely with your neighbors and friends. Sylvan Lake name Game Nights take place every Wednesday when there is not a Sylvan Lake Board meeting in the Community Center. Game Night starts at 5.30 p.m. and will go to about 9 p.m. at the Community Center. This event is open to all Sylvan Lake residents and you're welcome to bring any family and friends as well as any board or card games that you would like. They will also provide mahjong and a euchre if you would like to play those. If you have an event you would like us to feature here on the Splash Live, you can send us a message on our social media pages at Civic Center TV and Facebook at Civic Center TV 15. Coming up, we'll be taking a look at our interview with Connect Membership Manager for West Bloomfield Parks, Sheila Nittman. But before that, a West Bloomfield resident is working to change the lives of teens and families through her work as a special education teacher at Berkeley High School. Megan Brockman has worked to create an inclusive and supportive environment inside and outside the classroom through her new project. We got to talk with Megan about her work and how it impacts others. Splash reporter Calvin Brown has the story. Making friends, meeting acquaintances, and planning dates can be a towering task for some. And while many choose to learn through practice, some have trouble putting practice into reality. At a young age, Megan Brockman saw just how difficult it was for some students to learn how to keep relationships. I'm a daughter of a special education teacher who taught in the West Bloomfield School District. And I was around a lot of kids who learned differently. And then when I became a high school student, we had a program at West Bloomfield High School, the LINK program. And basically what it was, was as one of your classes, you were a peer support to a student with a disability. And specifically, I was paired with somebody who had autism. The first day that I had that class, I left that class and said, wow, I think I know what I wanna do when I grow up. Developing friendly or romantic relationships can be difficult, especially when the vocabulary and flexibility of learning are absent for most especially the neurodivergent and disabled. 
Megan spearheaded the My Relationship Project to address these issues beyond school. What we do is we offer classes and coaching and supports for neurodiverse individuals, their families, and their community. We provide information, support, and resources to not only neurodiverse individuals whose brains work a little differently than what you would call normal, but also neurotypical people whose brains work normally, if you will, to help them navigate romantic relationships, relationships at work, or at school, and even relationships in their community, like doctors or service providers, and to help them navigate their autonomy and independence. If you or someone you know is struggling with building and understanding relationships, Megan urges you to make the connection and check out the My Relationships Project website www.myrelationshipsproject.com um, to look at our services and things we can provide. We are here for our community members and anyone who, you know, needs to ask questions, wants to, our phone number's on there, they can give us a call. Um, and we appreciate, you know, just whoever is seeing this to share our information if they know someone um, you know, maybe with a son or a daughter who kind of fits this category or they're a parent of somebody uh, on the spectrum or with a developmental disability that needs support, call us, we're here for you. Um, and you can find our contact information from our website. Thank you to Megan Brockman and My Relationship Project for sitting down and talking with us over Zoom. Reporting for The Splash Live, I'm Calvin Brown. Thank you again to Megan Brockman for all the work that she does with teens and families struggling with neurodiversity and socialization. For more information, you can visit her website at myrelationshipsproject.com. Later on, we'll be looking at one of the star players for the West Bloomfield women's basketball team and hear her insight on the key to the team's success this season. Before that, we're now going to be taking a look at our interview with Connect Membership Manager for West Bloomfield Parks, Sheila Nittman, about the Connect Center and the benefits of getting a membership to enjoy all the programs and activities they have. Let's go check it out now. Joining us now is Sheila Nittman. She's the Connect Membership Manager at West Bloomfield Parks. She's here to join us to talk about her position as well as the benefits of having a membership at the Connect Center in West Bloomfield. We're gonna talk about some of their cool programming as well as her position. Sheila, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you for having me. Sheila, could you first start off by explaining to us your role as the Membership Manager at the Connect Center at Orchard Mall? Sure. As the Connect Membership Manager, I manage all the communication with our members that we take care of on a weekly and monthly basis, whether that be uh, a special email that they receive once a month um, or uh, breaking news like when we reopened after the pandemic. Um, I'm the person that takes care of all that communication and, of course, one-on-one -on -one conversations with our members. Uh, another special thing that we offer for members is a birthday class club and we offer that we send them a birthday card on their birthday and it's taken off like I, we never expected that people would enjoy this program so much that they are remembered on their birthday so that's another thing I take care of. Sheila for our viewers who maybe are not familiar with the Connect Center in Orchard Mall could you tell us a little bit about what the Connect Center is and some of the things that they're giving to our senior members in our community. Absolutely. Thanks for asking that. It's uh, a really special gathering place for our seniors. It's dedicated for our seniors in the West Bloomfield area. Of course, non-residents are also welcome to join in programs and become members for uh, a little bit higher of a fee, um, but still nominal. Um, memberships are $15 for an individual from West Bloomfield and $25 for a couple, and it's $25 and $45 if you're not a resident. But most importantly, it offers offers a space for our seniors to gather and visit and connect with one another, whether that's through our programming or sometimes just they come and want to visit. They come and get a cup of coffee. They they stay. We had Punchki Day on Tuesday. And I I was I was so tickled to see that so many of our seniors stayed for over an hour to two hours after they picked up their punchki and just visited with one another, introduced each other, um, met new friends. It's nice. 
Sheila, can you tell us a little bit about the advantages of having a membership at Connect, um, for, especially for those members here in our West Bloomfield community, but also maybe for non-residents in West Bloomfield? Sure. Uh, the advantages of having a membership are twofold. First, it's going to save you money, especially if you take advantage of our uh, drop-in programming, which normally would be $2 every single time you came to some of those drop-in programs. And some examples of drop-in programs would be open game room or ping pong. And if you pay $2 every time you come to one of those programs, and that program is two or three times a week, you're going to add up to $15 pretty darn quick. Uh, so that's the first advantage. The, the even more important than saving money is how it's supporting our community. It is showing uh, the, the commission and our uh, township, our municipality, that a senior center is very, very important to have in our community. And you know we have dreams to have even a bigger senior center. So the more members we have uh, for $15 a membership, it's only going to show all of the residents of West Bloomfield how needed this gathering space really is. Sheila, you talked a little bit about some of the fun activities that you guys have there. Um, there are some workout classes as well as those drop-in uh, game room times. Can you talk a little bit about some of the educational programs that you guys have? I know during Black History Month, you have the Love Yourself uh, Wellness Well Black event, but could you talk about some of the programs that you guys have on a monthly basis that are educating the seniors and helping them? Absolutely. Uh, we have. Um, we have a special Mindfulness Monday program, which concentrates on a different area of self-help and you know wellness, uh, taking care of our uh, taking care of ourselves. Um, different themes in our winter guide, which I have handy right here. Um, we have a special senior section, and it will go over all the different educational programming we have. Uh, you mentioned the counterfeit program we're having, uh, you know, in a bit, but we have sometimes it's learning. Um, we have a we'll have a program on you know trying to prevent falls and you're in and working on your balance uh sometimes it'll be someone coming in to talk about medic medicare and especially around that sign up period which was a couple months ago um, and um, let's see you kind of put me on the spot there maddie i'm trying to think of we have so many different programs um it's not just physical um some of the uh, we have a veterans meetup so while that's not educational per se for all of our uh, you know um, all of our participants it it, it really is healthy for the veterans to be able to share their stories. Yeah, and that winter guide has all of the programs and the dates and the signups. Um, so if someone is interested, they can go and check that out on your website. Sheila, during the pandemic, these seniors were probably the group that was most impacted um, by the pandemic, both uh, physically, also mentally, not being able to get out of the house and socialize with their loved ones. Can you talk about the importance of having the Senior Connect Center, especially during the pandemic? Yes, uh, we, you know, it was a big success when we opened Connect and we were only open for three months and then the world shut down. And we were very, very, very concerned about our customers. And we uh, made a lot of effort to reach out to them, even though we couldn't host them here in the building. We um, initiated a lot of creative parking lot programs where we could still communicate with them, but safely uh, outside programming. We made personal phone calls to all of our members, uh, checking in on them. And still Still, uh, when we reopened to see how jubilant they were to be able to come back and return, I think that everyone appreciates it tenfold now that we're back than they even realized it before we had to close down. And, and people talk about how they're just so happy to be having interaction with us as employees, with each other. It's been, uh, it's been a relief. Sheila, as we wrap up here, is there anything else you wanted to share with our viewers um, about the Connect Center and how they can maybe get that membership or um, try out some of those drop-in programs if they're interested? Yes, absolutely. So we are open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, and we offer a coffee service. Some of our 
members just stop by in the morning to say hello and come get coffee. Uh, you can sign up for a membership here at Connect during those business hours. And I'm here usually Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So if I'm not here, one of my colleagues will be able to help you. Uh, you can also sign up for a membership by calling our phone number, which is 248-451-1900. And one of the customer service reps can help you over the phone with that membership if you want to pay with a credit card. But we love to have visitors stop by. We'll give you a tour. You can try it out for the day with a daily pass. We won't charge you if you'd like to come to some of those, you know, check us out. And uh, the one thing, two things I want to mention, if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, sometimes people have a hard time finding us. We are in the Orchard Mall, but not accessible from the mall. So you will see a big WB Park sign above the door. And we are on the north end of the mall next to Mathnasium and the kitchen store. So it's a single entrance exit. You cannot get to us from the mall. And secondly, I just want to mention that we're hiring. We'd love to have you work here. If you know a neighbor, a friend, a granddaughter, a grandson that would like to maybe work at Connect or at WB Parks, we are hiring. Well, Sheila, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was such a pleasure having you on. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Thank you again to Sheila for joining us on the Splash Live to talk about the amazing programs that they have at the Connect Center. If you're interested in registering or getting a membership, you can contact them to do so. As it is International Women's Day, we wanted to highlight a special group of women who are blazing their way to the state championship. The West Bloomfield women's basketball team is on a hot streak, a 20-game hot streak. The team, led by their coach, Darren McAllister, will be playing tonight against Mercy in the regional semifinals. Splash reporter Calvin Brown and I talked with sophomore Summer Davis about her journey to West Bloomfield and how the team is doing this year. Let's go check it out. The West Bloomfield women's basketball team has been dominant this season. Their only loss came in their first game of the season against Dexter. After that, nothing but wins. With new head coach Darren McAllister leading the team, they have numerous star players that are to credit for this 20 game win streak. We talked to one of those key players, Summer Davis, earlier in the season about her journey to West Bloomfield High School. We asked Summer what her journey has been like to get to West Bloomfield High School and play at the level she is at now. Well, I started training and um, like I started basketball at the YMCA just for fun and stuff. And then um, we got introduced into AAU a few years ago with Hype. And then we switched over to Michigan Storm. And then we started training with um, Coach Simpkins. And he's helped us train. And then we've gone on to uh, uh, Gray. He's been training us. Summer won MLive Player of the Week after she dropped 31 points over Clarkson. She talked to us about how it felt to be recognized. Um, it felt good. I know India won last year, so it felt good to have it too. I had a lot of support from the team and my family, and it just know it was good. Um, just running the floor helped me a lot, getting open for layups and getting ahead. Um, it didn't feel like 31 points. It was just like, I just wanted to win the game because it was a little too tight. The team is doing so well this season because of their leadership and hard work, but also because of their new head coach, Darren McAllister, and the way that he pushes them in practice. Um, at the end of the season, I, I want to be more of a leader. I know I'm opening up more like, than I was last year in the beginning of the year, and I think Coach McAllister really helped me with that too. I like how it's very hard. Like, he's hard enough, but it's, it's, like, it's not bad or anything. And it's helping all of us become better players and stuff. It's been going really good. We've been getting along better with on the, like on the court and being able to like have chemistry and being able to communicate and be able to make better plays for all of us. I want to see all of us in the state championship and being able to win. And um, it's helping us a lot. I, I think we're going to win this year. We're going to win it all. With motivated players like Summer Davis, the West Bloomfield High School women's basketball team has no doubt that their road to the state championship will be paved with victory. Good luck to the team in the rest of their journey to the championship. Reporting for the Splash Live, I'm Maddie Muschin. And I'm Calvin Brown. Good luck to the entire women's basketball team tonight as they take on Mercy at home in their regional semifinal game at 7 p.m. 
We're going to take a short break, but when we get back, we'll be talking again with Gail Taub. She is a fitness trainer, nutrition coach, and owner of Gazelle Health. So don't go anywhere. We'll check in with Gail after this break. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. This message brought to you by FEMA. Home fires occur most often in winter. Keep anything that can catch fire at least three feet from heating equipment and never use an oven to heat your home. Stay in the kitchen when frying, grilling, or broiling food. Turn space heaters off when you leave the room or go to bed. Make sure all vents are clear of snow and ice to allow carbon monoxide to vent outside. Have your furnace, heating system, and chimneys serviced each year by a qualified professional. Learn more at www.usfa.fema.gov. from texting and driving. Don't text and drive. And now, back to The Splash, live. Welcome back to The Splash Live. I'm your host, Maddie Muschin. Joining us now is Gail Taub, who joins us weekly to talk about health, wellness, and nutrition. Gail Taub is a fitness trainer, nutrition coach, and owner of Gazelle Health. Gail, thanks so much for joining us again this morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, Maddie. Yes, and happy International Women's Day to you, Gail. To you as well. So, Gail, let's talk a little bit about reaching your goals and how um, personal trainers and coaches can help one do that. Can you tell us some tips for finding someone to help you reach your goals, whether that's with nutrition or fitness? Yes, so this is a tricky, tricky topic because everybody's very individual. Everyone has their own goals and needs, uh, their own experiences, and there's a lot of different options out there. Some are really right and some may not be right for you. So. Um, I have four steps, basically, that um, I m might have you try as you're trying to figure out where to find the professional that help you the best. Um, step number one is really look to yourself first. Um, find a quiet space. Think about um, what it is that you're looking for, what it is that you uh, want for yourself. And you might want to think about it in three different parts. Um, because health and wellness at the end of the day, regardless of how you want to look or how you want to feel or what you want for yourself, um, health and wellness is at the top. I wanna be here for my children. I wanna outlive my parents um, and do a better job at taking care of myself. And to do that, there are three different things that um, are necessary and end of story, just necessary in order to do that for ourselves. The first is eating right. Uh, having a healthy, well-balanced diet. The second one is exercising, the routine that you or moving uh, in a way that makes sense for you. And the third is about habits. So when you sit down, before you start looking for anyone, take a few minutes um, and quiet time for yourself and figure out which one of those areas would you like to improve and are you ready and willing to improve right now? Um, they're all necessary, but to attack them all at the same time can be overwhelming. And finding a professional who can help you with all of those things, uh, that's actually very, very tricky. So finding one thing, whether it be the eating, the exercising, or your habits, um, is a good place to start. Uh, from there, you might wanna focus on that one area. Let's use nutrition as an example, and ask yourself, um, and kind of think about what have you already tried? What have you done? What successes have you had? And how? what do you consider a success? And what failures have you had? Um, and the reason that that's an important step in this process is simply so you don't continue to repeat the same mistakes that you've made in the past. Um, having tried something and having it work means different things to different people. So just because you lost a pound by following a diet doesn't automatically mean that it worked for you. Um, 
I'm assuming a lot of times you want that to last over the course of time. So think about what you've tried, think about what has worked, where it has not worked. And when you start to seek a professional, look for a new approach. Don't repeat the same thing again. And I'm not trying to be specific here. Think outside the box, guys. Think about when I say, did it work? Uh, I'm talking about was the restrictive approach you took to losing a pound, did that work? Uh, not eating more protein and less sugar, right? That's very specific. Um, uh, that's always going to work, right? That's that's how it works. That's science. But the approach that you took, the person or the people that you worked with, the way in which you went about losing those that weight or getting healthy or whatever it is that you were trying to do, how did that work? The third thing that you need to do is um, remember a couple of things when you're looking for a professional. Number one, if there were magic guys, if there was a silver bullet, we'd all be in a much different situation and we wouldn't be as um, challenged as we are to keep ourselves healthy. Silver bullets and magic do not exist. It usually is not one thing that causes you trouble, um, success or failure. It's multiple things. Um, the other thing that you might wanna think about is the people that are making you promises. I will never promise you anything other than if you show up and you do the work and together we approach how to get you healthy, um, that you will feel better and you will succeed at your goals. But I'm not gonna promise you that you're gonna lose certain amount of pounds in a certain, uh, with a certain way of eating because I don't know you, okay? So watch out for those promises, those big, bold promises. And lastly, in this particular area, watch out for the conversation that you're having with that professional. Make sure that conversation is largely about you, that the professional is asking you a lot of questions and you have the opportunity to share what's important, what has worked, what you want, um, what you've tried, all of those things. If I uh, come into it and the conversation is largely about how I do things and how I lost my weight or how I have a program or an approach that will work for you, there's something a little bit wrong with that. Um, so the balance should be mostly about you, having you answer your questions, having you ask questions, and then about the approach of the professional. Lastly, so you've picked something, you've figured out what is new or different or what has worked for you in the past, you're watching out for certain things, now comes the time when you're gonna look for resources. Um, you know, uh, the idea here is to pick three and explore three different options. Use your friends, your doctors, your professionals, people you trust for referrals, not because it worked for them, by the way, but because you're gonna have a conversation about you and they trust that person. Now you need to learn if you can trust that person. So uh, find that person that you, you know, that you trust, get some referrals. There's also websites out there that are not about programs, but they're about the professionals themselves. Healme.com is one of them. You can go on there and in your local area, you can find different kinds of health and wellness professionals, um, check credentials. And at the end of having three conversations with three different kinds of professionals that are geared towards what you are trying to change, pick the best one and try. That's all. Well, Gail, we appreciate you joining us today. Would you just like to tell people if they can reach out to you how they can do so? Absolutely. So um, I have a website. Uh, you can message me through that. It is coachgale.com. Gale is spelled G-A-Y-L-E. So it's coachgale.com. You can also uh, call me at or text at 248-885-1400. And you can also find Gazelle Health with two H's at the end on Instagram. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us again, Gail. We appreciate it. You bet. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Once again, I was joined by Gail Taub. She's fitness trainer and nutrition coach here in Greater West Bloomfield, telling us how you can find your goals and a person that can help you with those. Thank you again for joining us this morning. A special thanks to our Zoom producer, Jared Clark, and to Calvin Brown for helping us each day on the show here. For all of our friends in Orchard Lake, Sylvan Lake, Kego Harbor, and West Bloomfield, 
I'm Maddie Mustin. Thank you for watching The Splash Live.